mean, he was dominant, man. Like a 1.12 in every single mode, a 1.2 in search and destroy. So he's consistent when it comes to the slang and consistent in the numbers. Has a transition against some of the best teams in the world. And going up against Serrano Ultra, it's never going to be easy task. They look kind of bad. They got cooked up at Major 2, but... They always have to respond now. Boston Breeze, they find the break through the front side. And with 30 seconds left, you have to at least get back towards P3 because Toronto Ultra, they already have control of that. They're going to be able to win a rotation over towards next. Yeah, it's like Boston Break. Oh, How wow. Toronto are on the rotation. Some snaps being hit across really both sides. But yeah, I feel like we've absolutely hit them with the caster curse. We're talking about rookie of the year conversation. Scrap, he starts off 0-3 beans. But he's yet to get a kill so far. We're getting ready to jump into our third hard point. Uh, I don't know, uh, you know, it's not looking the greatest, so we'll try to just avoid that, maybe move on to another time, but at the very least, thankfully for Beans, Awakening is definitely picking things up. It was the break for the moment from Breach, as we said, that P3, incredibly important, and right now it's Boston with that at their back as Vivid falls off the six spree. Oh, Vivid falls, but at least he's able to earn that cruise. Still the favorable spawns for Boston. Breach, Serana putting a lot of pressure from top maps and from the front. They're able to find every single kill in the feed. And Serana Ultra, they find the break. So with about 30 seconds left, Boston Breach, they got to cut their losses. You basically want to trap them in towards the back of that Statue Hill. And that's exactly what they're doing as they're able to find two kills. But one player does slip through. It's Kleenex. Everyone trying to track him down. See so if they'll be able to find him or not. As we said, player number seven. Right now on the mini-map, taking a look out for Tobias. Puts a few shots in the back of Awakening. Back and forth we go. Finalizes the kill. Not going to be able to find the second. However, he does open up a lane for his other SMG duo in standing to try to make something happen. He'll eventually drop. So both SMGs cleared out of the base, and now Boston can focus on soaking up this time. Well, it's been a slow start for the new addition in Beans, Jay. It has been fantastic beginnings for both Vivid and Awakening. Oh, yeah, Boston Breeze is doing what they need to do. Like you said, Beans not having the best start, but the SMGs have came to play. And you know what you're going to get out of Awakening. It's usually always positive in these hard points. But that's going to be Toronto finding two kills and putting pressure on through dump steps. Oh, He's wow. going to be scrapped flying around with that TAC-56. He's able to take that player down. The break is about to come in, but there's still a couple Boston players trying to keep it stagnant. I don't know about you, man, but it just feels like the break so far throughout this hard point. Not that they're effortless, but it just seems that way. Like the way that Boston broke it. P3, you know, jumping on in toward bottom cannons. Toronto just waltzed their way right on into the hard point. You see Scrap and Insight with the ARs of all things doing some great work in what should be close range gunfights. Final hard points getting ready to start of the first set of rotations. We head toward Blacksmith. And right now it is a pretty even game considering that Boston right now do hold the seconds. Insight trying to lead the way, lead the troops. They'll find a pick. That's double headshots for the ARs. Now's the time to go for Toronto. Yeah, oh, if you're Boston, you just have to try to play for these kills. Nero's the cutoff man. He finds two to keep that pressure off of Awakening. Now you have a couple teammates that are in the play, but Insight is cutting them all down alongside Scrap. The ARs from Toronto Ultra coming out swinging in this map number one. Basically a tie game. With only 30 seconds remaining on this last hard point, neither squad wants to drop. You want to try to maintain the better side of the map with all of Scrap's teammates spawning out towards the back. That's going to be three dead in the feed. Still trying to stay alive. Again, the time continues to tick, so they've got to get going. They've got to get going quick. Oh! Win their gunfights! They both win their gunfights! There was 10 seconds left. There was three players alive. They all get melted in ultra at the snap of a finger, the drop of a hat. They've just tied the game. Okay, so I was talking about three-piece from Nero. All right, Awakening's going to follow up. This time, a 2v4 from Boston Breach. It was the other side, though. It was the other side this time around. Boston Breach got the first 2v4, and this time it's Toronto Ultra. What plays out of Standy to make his way all the way from that A site? Find the kill on towards Beans while Insight was still holding down his back spawn. He opens up with a nade kill, finds a second onto Vivid, and then the sound cues coming from Standy to read that player on the flank. And another round thrown away. 2v2, 2-2 now. Just unfortunate right there for Boston. Yeah, it's a frustrating round to lose. I mean, you're going up 3-1, to one, feeling confident. And right back, it is Toronto on your heels once more. His beans will look, that, look to bring out the big guns. He very well could have somebody aggressing quite early. That is Kleenex in the back. However, it's Beans who's able to snap. Cracks the whip onto Insight. And as we said for Tobias, he will give a nice little handshake there to Standy before he meets his ultimate peril. Gonna guarantee that defense. 
going into this round number five. So Boston Breach had put themselves in the advantage. Serrano Ultra just need a stellar breakout. And I think what Boston Breach just did to forward push through that double doors, get your trophies down, get the double stack towards eight is your best case scenario if you are Toronto. Feels like it's your only option. And that's the scary part, man, is that like you just kind of invest everything into one play. If there's just a sequence, right, where somebody doesn't win their one or, you know, a few of those gunfights don't go your direction, you could instantly be in the backside of the spawn. Let's see how Toronto does it. Let's see what the strategy is and how these opening engagements will look to play out. Kleenex, understandably so, the first player in. That's a look to dive right on in toward that B objective. He just wants to get clean and comfortable inside of the base of Boston. However, it's Nero to walk away with that opening engagement. What can the other three players do for Ultra right now in this spot? And really, it's not a whole lot considering that Stanny has just fallen. Scrappy, the last player alive, realizing how important that his life is in a spot like this. Trying to stay up, he drops as well. A solid job for Toronto, but we'll see oh. if Kleenex can maybe be the difference here. That's a big two right there from Kleenex. Now you relieve some of that pressure. Try to allow your teammates to get out of the spawn, but now it's on to Vivid. He eventually falls. Standy not thinking about that A point. They're going to rotate over towards B. It's free lickings. There's no one on that point. You're able to get on it, stop that clock. And this is where oh. potentially Kleenex can invest that cruise as he finds that kill on Tenero. That's a very good point, my friend. Pitching their way into that B zone. That scrap who's able to find two. Awakening and desperate need to find a kill. He's brought down to 50 HP. He is stunned and somewhat dazed. He's got to wait for the rest of the teammates to come off of spawn. And here they are. Pretty much everybody in the lobby. Is over at this B zone. Who's going to come out on top of these fights? Can it beat Toronto? And right uh -oh. now it is. Kleenex uh -oh. around the corner is able to find another. And right now it is player two and Beans who is here to contest. He loses that 1v1. And Ultra look to be on the right path. If they can win this 1v1, now it's up to Sandy. Two segments accrued and an instant rotation. Now over at A as Boston have uh -oh. finally awoken. That's just good work right there from Boston. They played super patient. Wait for your teammates to get into the plop that way. Inside, who has been really the man of the hour lately for Toronto. Continuing to be a turret over toward the carpets. A few players begin to enter on in. No ammo. Pulls out the pistol. But thankfully, Kleenex, Standy, and Scrappy are there to wipe them all away. Toronto can take the lead if they grab every second left. Oh, Toronto have had a flawless hole towards Diner. Because now Boston Briefs know that they have to cut their losses. They have to rotate over towards top plaque because this is where the game can potentially end. Awakening was here nice and early. He's able to cut down too. This is where you put the pressure on towards Kitchen. As the trade comes in from Nero, last player up is going to be Scrap. Spawns all the way across the map for Toronto. And this is where Insight can invest that cruise whistle because you have to find at least one kill. You do indeed. Here comes Insight. However, two players do fall off the of spawn. Toronto Ultra, how can they work off of it? Nero, he continues to find players. They've got, or rather, they've got trophies here. Insight, meanwhile, is able to find one onto Vivid. Only 10 more points left for Boston before they can call series. Scrappy Kleenex, everybody find it. get involved, and they're able to find the break. It's a beautiful break right there from Toronto. Great patience out of every single player on that side to get all the information that was gained off of that cruise missile, find all the kills, and now flip the spawns. Boston Breach needs a break because Toronto can close it out. 242 to 240. It's game time. But here comes Vivid. Here comes Vivid. Oh, 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 oh. Fight two. Standy at least able to take him down. Big Nero one. Is there for the trade. Boston, they can still win it here. Toronto, can anybody Gotta go? Massive dub over the Ultra. What a series out of Boston Breach.